Hi, this is Sean Taylor. Welcome to 4197 Bolero and Quartet Community in Northwest Meridian. This is a James Clyde built home. Great builder right across the street from the pool that is coming. A view of Bogus Basin over there, the foothills. Beautiful rock fascia accents. Nice big window, shaker style siding. Beautiful trim, full rain gutters. Vented eaves, which is nice. Nice wide eaves also come extending from the home. Beautiful fencing, corner lot. Off of a quiet street, nice wide street. It's coming into the community. Nice landscaping. Huge three car garage, nice and tall doors with the accent windows, the bonus room up. And you walk into the covered front entry here. There's no power on in the house yet because they're still finishing the home. But again, you have the kind of shaker style siding. Nice tall front door glass on there the floor is covered but it's this very neutral color wood here vinyl plank I believe soaring ceilings I think these are about 12 feet to high in here and then right off the front entry we have bedroom number one very spacious notice the three panel doors here Full wood trim around the big windows. Really tall coving. Looks like they're about eight to 10 inches. A slider with built-ins here in the closet area. Jack and Jill bath here with tile flooring. Raised vanity with quartz countertops. Tile around the bathtub. Window in the commode area. Maybe got a closet area as well. Tile underneath there. Notice that it's got the black hardware throughout the house. Here's the front bedroom. This would look out over the pool area. 10 foot ceilings in here. More built ins. And we come out here to one of my favorite areas of the house. You got the stairs. Nicely set off to the left, not in your face. You have a little coat closet here. And then you have this just grand living room here. Beautiful beams. Set up for your TV section over here. Beautiful gas fireplace and just huge windows. Looking out over a pretty private backyard here. The towering covered patio. Looks like it's about 20 feet, 18 to 20 feet deep. And then you've got the kitchen area. Quartz countertops, additional storage down here. It's got the gas cooktop, space for your fridge, additional cabinets. Crown molding with the uh, lighted uppers, soft closed drawers with Thermador appliances, by the way. There will be the microwave over here, get your dishwasher. Nice deep, deep sink here. And here's your pantry area. Lots of outlets in here. This extends all the way around to here. Lots of shelves, built-ins, just gorgeous. And I'll take you over here to my left where we have the guest bathroom, just a half bath. Still waiting for the mirrors. And then we have the office area. I think these are 10 foot ceilings in here. Has the actual 
accent, wood accents here, real wood here with the chair rail. And then we have the little mud bench in here. Hang your coats and take off your shoes. I'll show you the garage before we get to the master and the bonus room up. We got the nice deep garage with the smart openers. Finished garage, man door, and then your furnace, and water heater behind there. Additional storage area over here. Access to your crawl space. Insulated garage doors. Nice wide space between the doors there. A nice wide door to boot. So shouldn't be any problem pulling three cars in this house. All right. Here's the laundry room, but we're going to look at all the upper cabinets in here. That's phenomenal with a sink. This goes through to the master bath. Additional storage in here. Well, I'll go ahead and go in here. Nice big tile floor in here for storage space. And your smart panel over here. This goes through to the master closet, which also has 10 foot ceilings. It's gonna be nice and bright. You've not only got a big window over there, but three can lights in here. And then we've got the tile floor in here. I think this bathroom is big as my first apartment. Tons of lighting coming. Nice big mirrors, his and her uh, sinks there. Vanities with the quartz countertops. Tile accents all the way across. Rain glass, big window here. Then you've got a nice big wide commode area. Nice tall door, which is actually sitting right here. And here's Truly, hello, hello. And you have the huge shower over here. The tile all the way to the ceiling here with the dual faucets or shower heads, I mean, with some built ins. Controls conveniently right inside the door so you don't get sprayed with cold water when you turn them on. And now you have the master bedroom. Kind of a perfect size master bedroom, it's not obscenely large. Have the wood accents over there, the crown molding, ceiling fan coming, lots of recessed can lighting. And this is the actual, again, real wood paneling here. Sometimes they do the cheater method and just put up the trim. Tall coving, beautiful doors right off of the kitchen and dining area. We've got this nice big dining space here room for any size table or gathering. Then out here in the rear yard. This is west facing. Got a very low maintenance backyard. Still got to stain the fence there. Spigot over there. They've got the gutter extensions coming out. Full gutters like I mentioned. gorgeous the gutter extensions are a nice touch just keep that water away from the house and they've got the lava chip rock all the way across the side here keeps it nice and clean you don't have to worry about weeding too much and low cost irrigation water wait well, we got a nice sky for you today all right, last but not least, we're going to head over to the bonus room. Say hola, you're on camera. You'll be famous. Notice they've got the wood railing going up the stairs. Nice, this would be easy to move furniture up to. Because if you've got a big enough landing area distance-wise up here, bring up couches or whatever. It's plumb for central back, 
This house is also wired for sound and four stations. And amazingly, you've got nine foot ceilings in here as well. And you don't have a real steep pitch in the ceiling here coming down, so you can put anything you want here, bookcases, whatever. And a nice closet up here. I'm gonna stay on the plastic. And a window with the view of Bogus Basin here. It's a little bit cloudy over there by the mountains today, so you can't see it great, but that's where Bogus Basin is. And that'll be the pool down here. Okay, I think that concludes the tour. Oh, here's a separate thermostat up here, which is also excellent. You'll have to study up on that. And lots of vents, which is also very important when you have a bonus room above the garage. All right, thank you for viewing.